Hello and welcome. I am Gimba Umar. The headlines. State Governor Dave Umahi wants the President-elect Bola Tinubu to rope River State Governor Yesum Wike into his administration. Welcome once again. All outstanding governorship, national and state assembly supplementary elections will take place on Saturday 15th of April 2023. And that's according to a tweet by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The latest announcement from the heavily criticised electoral umpire comes barely one week after the governorship elections of Kebi and Adamal states were declared inconclusive, citing breaches of electoral laws that led to cancellations of results in polling units within 20 of Kebi state's 21 local government areas. In the meantime, the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, Iocha Ayu, has been suspended by the party over the weekend. Addressing the media in Boko Benue state, the party alleged that Ayu worked against it at various levels, resulting in the dismal performance of the PDP in the general polls. They say that his anti-party activities is further deepened by his refusal to vote during the elections and not paying for his party dues. Uh, in Benue, we naturally expected, like he's done in Sina Climbs, for the former national chairman, uh, Senator Yucha Yu, to have stepped aside honorably uh, because he wasn't able to lead the, the party to victory and allow the party to move on without him. Unfortunately, he has refused to show, uh, display that kind of honor. So uh, I thought it wise to approach the court uh, to see uh, how to agree with uh, the position of his ward, who uh, only 24 hours ago had suspended him from the party. And still on politics and in a brow raising remarks, Ebony State Governor Dave Umahi has asked the president elect Bolatinubu to extend an olive branch to Governor Nyetum Wike of River State into his administration. Mahi was commending Wike, a member of the PDP, for his role in ensuring that the APC won the presidential elections. He didn't stop there. He also extended his appreciation to the PDP national chairman, Iocha Ayu, for working for Tinubu's victory. In his words, God directly and indirectly made Governor Wike very much available, and so there is no way APC can conclude about the success of the elections without mentioning Governor Wike. And we will be asking Ashiwaju and Shetima to please bring Governor Wike to the co-administration of the federal government. He has a lot to offer to the unity of the country. And to other stories now, the Supreme Leader and Saradin's Islamic Society of Nigeria, Sheikh Abdurrahman Ahmed, wants better governance from Governor Babajide Somwolu of Lagos State. The Islamic cleric was speaking at a Ramadan lecture in Lagos. For him, strategy must be the hallmark of how the state is governed. No one knows that anybody, any organization, any structure, in fact, any structure led, could come and rattle the APC in Lagos. But then it was real. It came. It wasn't expected. No one expected it. It is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is secure from all kinds of fear. You're watching News Mobile on Control TV. When we return, court sentences a man to death by hanging. That's in a moment. Welcome back. You're watching News Mobile on Control TV. A quick reminder of our top stories. And 
Governor David Mahi presents case to President-elect Bola Tinubu to accommodate Governor Wike, a PDP stalwart, into his government. And for our lead stories and more, please visit our website at www.controltv.ng where you can find more stories that affect you. And uh, reach with the latest reports, programs and events. Lurch onto our YouTube page, www.youtube.com forward slash control TV for the latest factual, real and concisely accurate videos on all fronts. You can also check out more stories on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash control TVNG. We ask that you like, subscribe and share. Rights lawyer and senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Femi Falano, has commended, has condemned rather, the arrest of Abba Jalingo, an online publisher. Jalingo has been remanded in the Kujay prisons in Abuja for character assassination of one Mrs. Elizabeth Ayade, wife of the younger brother of the Cross River State Governor, Ben Ayade. Justice Zainab Abubakar of the Federal High Court in Abuja remanded the journalists and publisher of Cross River Watch at the Kujay Correctional Center. Jalingo was arraigned on a two-count charge bordering on alleged false publication intended to cause annoyance, ill will and insult a crime publish, punishable by Section 24, Subsection 1B of the, crime, of the Cybercrimes Prohibition Prevention Act 2015. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges. In the meantime, the Ikeja High Court has sentenced a domestic staff, Joseph Obu, to death by hanging for killing his 89-year-old employer, Ajoke John, and her daughter, Oreolua John, 38, in Lagos. The convict, who hails from Oju local government area of Benue State, brutally murdered the victims at their residence at number 4, Ogulano Drive, in Surulere, Lagos, on June 19, 2019, 24 hours after he was employed. Justice Modupe Nicole Clay held that the prosecution had sufficiently proven the three count charges bordering on armed robbery and murder against the convict. Nicole Clay held that the defendant confessed to the crime as he admitted to living with the deceased and was the only witness to the incident. And that wraps it up on Control TV News Mobile at this hour. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. Join us much later in the day for an update. I am Gimba Umar and bye for now.